So the 16th point in uh, becoming the world champion of public speaking or the 16th secret to becoming the world's greatest speaker is expose yourself. Now, what do I mean by expose yourself? Consider this. On social media, have a look at most of the females. Most of the females, what they'll do, they'll always put a photograph like, they'll always put a photograph like this. And females tend to have like, it's not that they took the first photograph and they put it. They would try a different photo like, they would take around 20 photographs. And I know this because I've had many girlfriends in the past. They would take 20 photographs. And after they finish all the 20, they would look through each and every photo and then choose the one that they like. After they get the one that they like, they put different filters. There are different apps for even, you know, making your skin look white or there are different apps for even making yourself look attractive. And they would use the proper filter. They would choose the contrast, the color, the brightness, the focus, everything else. Once they are absolutely happy, completely happy that this is the perfect photograph, then they would upload this and say, oh, just a random photograph of me. This is what people normally do. Everyone wants to look perfect. That is why when you meet this real person in real life, they don't look as beautiful as they show themselves to be. In fact, most of the girls who are fat, really, really fat, you see their photographs online. They look really slim. They look like God's gift to mankind. Now you might say, oh, Lloyd, what about the boys? I'm telling you, even the boys. Most of the guys, they would uplift their chest. They would uplift their chest and then take a photograph. They would go to the gym, pump, 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 and then they would, you know, photograph like their shirt tight or, you know. When I used to take my photograph, I'm telling you, the days when I used to take my photograph of my bicep, I would put my hand here and then hold it this way so the bicep would look like bulging outside. I've done this. I've done this. But, you know, finally what happens is the day the same person takes off all their clothes and you are exposing yourself naked, completely naked with no filter, no second take, nothing. The person can see you as you are. So then what happens then? That is why you have so many relationships that break up, so many problems because people, what they tend to do is they'll show you a perfect facade, a perfect fake image of who they are not. That is why so many relationships get into a relationship and get divorced, you know, because the guy is trying to be at his Sunday best. The girl is trying to show I'm very understanding. I'm very beautiful with all these layers and layers and tons of makeup. But when she washes it all off, she has pimples and she has craters on her face. And the guy is a total, you know, prick. He's a jackass. He is a loser. He's selfish. He only is desperate for sex, but he portrayed himself as being decent. That's why it breaks off. So what has this got to do with public speaking? Expose yourself as you are and get judged. Allow the haters to hate you. Allow people to make fun of you. And it's the haters who will make fun of you. The feedback that they give you, that is the real feedback. One of the reasons why I left Toastmasters is because when you go to Toastmasters and speak, everyone, wow, fantastic. Oh, that was a lovely speech. Excellent speech, excellent gestures, superb eye contact, great content. Oh, I loved it so much. My heart was beating. You should get an Oscar for this. You should get a Nobel Peace Prize in public speaking. That person gets so amazed. Wow, my wife didn't want to hear me speak. My office doesn't care. But here people love the way I speak. Wow, thank you. And then you get this trophy that you want to show off. In fact, can, can, can you see all the trophies at the top? Okay, all those, most of them were from Toastmasters. They don't mean a thing in the real world. They don't mean a thing. You know, most of these trophies that you get in the real world, in the real world, nobody cares about your certificates. Nobody cares about your trophies. And that's one of the reasons why it doesn't mean anything. These compliments don't mean anything. In fact, so many speakers, when I, when I coach them, they tell me, Lloyd, you have no idea. Uh, they said, excellent speech, excellent. You know, the senior members, forget you, the senior members said, I had great potential. And then they amount to nothing. So just put your speech out there. Expose yourself. Upload your speech on a video. Let the whole world see it. Let them make fun of you. And the, the brutal feedback that people give you is the actual, is the reality of life. Because remember, compliments are not going to help you grow. Compliments will never help you grow. These trophies, these titles, these awards mean nothing. Absolute jack shit. 
In fact, you can become the world champion of public speaking. You show that certificate and people will say, well, what can I do with this? Nobody will offer you a job because a businessman will offer you a job only if you can, if whatever he pays you, you can give him 10 times the return only, then he's interested. Otherwise, what is he going to do with your certificate? Hang it up the wall? If you're good at selling and selling his products and services, fine, he'll be interested in employing you. Others, you wouldn't give a damn. So the point I'm trying to say is, expose yourself to who you, who you are. Don't put this filter, trying to look white and trying to look perfect and trying to look uh, you know, amazing with tons of makeup and uh, Photoshop. And No, just be yourself. Put yourself as you are. Speak. This is how I speak. People judge me. It's okay. But I collect the feedback that I get. I collect the feedback. And this not only makes me mentally tough, it brings me to reality. And this is what today's children and today's adults need, a dosage of reality. If you're fat, you're fat. If you're ugly, you're ugly. If you're stupid, you're stupid. Okay? First, accept the reality. And from there, start making a change. And keep in mind, no matter how many trophies and awards and, and medals and whatever you get, the real world doesn't give a damn. All the world cares about is what is in it for them, what benefit you can give them. So if you want to be the world's best speaker, the world's best, the greatest speaker in the world, first expose yourself, get criticized, allow people to make fun of you, allow them to expose you for your drawbacks. With this exposure, you will become better. In fact, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, this gentleman's name is Dr. Balan, Vijay Kumar Balan, and he is the most amazing uh, psychologists and psychiatrists who I've ever met. I respect him. I truly respect him. Amazing guy. Okay. Uh, I had gone to him for my personal treatment uh, and to understand myself, which I didn't know I was an ADHD. And uh, he's a person with a lot of wisdom. One fine day, one fine day, after I gave a great speech, uh, everyone was applauding and they gave me a cup and trophy and all that in Lagoon Toastmasters. I went to him because I respected him and I went to him and I told him, so how did I do the speech? Give me feedback. I was expecting him to say, no, you're great. Oh, I wanted to bask in that glory. And I was like, give it to me brutally, bluntly, just say it on my face. And I was waiting for him to praise me. And then he said something, he said something which I'll never forget. And I'm telling you, this changed my life forever. He told me, Lloyd, you are a great speaker. I was like, ah, yes. I felt great. He's saying, you're a great speaker, but you are completely empty. I was like, what? I was like, great speaker and then empty? What do you mean? He's saying, you're hollow. You're, you're just shallow. I was like, what exactly do you mean by that? He said, boy, there's no substance in your content. There's absolutely nothing. He's saying, you speak great. Your, your delivery is great. The way you speak, the manner in which you speak is great. But there's no value in what you're saying. In fact, uh, maybe amateurs would get impressed by you, but real professionals, the real professionals, they will know that you're nothing. And I'm telling you, it, it really hit me. I was like, whoa, because nobody had said this to me till date. Nobody. It really hit me like a ton of bricks and I couldn't believe what I was listening to. That when I went home, I, I kept thinking and reflecting what he said. And that really changed me. That day really changed me. Because what I realized is I was just talking, just giving speeches in Toastmasters and feeling great. But it was nothing. It was nothing. Toastmasters was nothing. And that is what led me to the journey of getting out of my comfort zone of Toastmasters and employment and becoming a professional speaker. And that led me to the journey which I am today. I spent $550,000 US dollars with books, DVDs. I took loans. I took so much and changed my life through mentoring. And I'm constantly studying. Even today, I'm, I'm constantly studying. I'm reading. I'm learning. It never stops. So, and I'm not afraid to tell you this. I'm not afraid to tell you my drawbacks. Because the more I expose myself, the more I tell people. I've told people I'm a womanizer. I, I slept around with prostitutes. I, I went to massage parlors. I took steroids in bodybuilding days. Uh, I, I openly tell them all my flaws. I tell them uh, that uh, I'm, I was a toilet cleaner. I'm a school dropout. I openly expose myself. And people enjoy making fun of me, shaming me. It's okay. Because this feedback that I get from my enemies, not from my friends, is what makes me better. So here's my challenge to you. The 16th secret of becoming a world champion of public speaking, of becoming the world's best speaker, is expose yourself. 
let it hurt. Let people make fun of you. And only when it hurts, only when it pains you, it will make you a better speaker. It'll make you a better person. It'll make you a great champion. So point number 16, the 16th secret of being the world champion of public speaking or the world's best speaker is expose yourself. This is Lloyd Macedo. I hope you enjoyed my uh, video session. If you have any questions, please send it to me at Loy at LoyMacedo.com. Do share and like this video. And remember, if you'd like to donate to my channel, that is through PayPal, Loy at LoyMacedo.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.